Okay, we're back. The cannon is fixed. Um, the press this button to reload. There we go. Now, yeah. Here we, let's, let's try this out. We should be getting TNT carts coming down this. Here we go. There's one. Push it in. Yep. Yeah. And the second one. Pushed in. Perfect. Now one more go left and one more go right. Oh, beautiful. That's reloaded. Now we can move this to the farthest point to the right, I think. We'll go this time. All the way to the right. And then we'll set it to the highest power. We're moving this front bit. There we go. Clicks into place. And then we'll stand back behind the cannon. And we'll fire with this one. Fire! Oh yeah, here they go. I set, set the power slightly different so that they land in little bit different places so they won't blow each other up. And there we go. They're just blowing up more underground areas at the moment. Need to fix this hole, really. So it's kind of like this uh, area around here is kind of the, um, the blast area for high range. This is mid range and short range is down here, I think, roughly. Now, it's a bit limited, I know. You can't really get much in the way of left and right. And the powers, there's not too many of them. I could add more by making the stick longer, but I like it being this short, really. Um, but yeah, that's my cannon. That's it. It's finished. Now, what I want to do next is control it using a computer so I don't have to carry around all these remotes because it's ridiculous. Look at all of them. It's just, just stupid having so many remotes all the time. Um, so what we need to do is you get this back into the, the central position. There we go. Now it can be reloaded, but I'm not going to because I just don't want to yet. I want to use the computers to do it. Now we've got all the codes down here, so we know that what the what the wireless signals are. So now we need to set up a kind of uh, computer room. Probably could be where could it be? Maybe like above the cannon, somewhere where I can see. And when when I'm shooting, maybe um, maybe in this tower would be quite a good place. Yeah, that would be quite a good place. And I could see the um, where the cannon's hitting. So top of this tower can be our control center for the um, all the bits uh, come on break good okay so we'll put a floor here and we'll set up our little uh, control tower okay let's do this floor um, whereabouts we want to be able to see nicely probably gonna need to increase the windows of this place I reckon here looks pretty good um oops oops today is there okay so what are we gonna need we're gonna need to get what well, we see so let's just break this whole place boom boom See, the red matter tools don't work on, on the half blocks. Uh, on the on the small blocks, rather. And I think there's several things that don't work on, actually. I think they don't work on reinforced stone. Um, which is why I surrounded the nuke in reinforced stone. You see? Clever. Yeah. But yeah, look. That's what's left. Kind of a frame. Which is kind of cool, actually. I kind of like that. Okay, how's that? Looks good. How's that? Mm, weird. There we go. Is that fixed? Perhaps. <laughs> It'll do. It'll do. One more. Okay, right. Let's grab the computers. Oh, I'll show you what I've added actually. Oh, well, the spider will show it off, hopefully. No? It needs to stand on the pressure plate. I put a Tesla coil here, look. The spiders are too fat. I'll stand on it and it'll kill the spider. Will it? It's not killing the spider. There we go. <laughs> uh, owned. And this one? You want, you want some too? You want some too? 
that no there we go <laughs> so basically anyone that comes in unwanted why is this room full of monsters let's leave some lights in here maybe um i can't get them to come near so yeah it's connected to this uh this wire basically anyone who walks in sets up a tesla coil and obviously i can't die because of my quantum armor but monsters mainly because monster i found that if you put pressure plates either side of the door it's convenient but obviously <laughs> Monsters can just walk in and out, but with this, they walk in and then they just die. Um, unless they spawn in here, which they seem to have done. So I'm going to have to light up this room slightly. Just a, little, a few torches. I thought I had it pretty well lit, but obviously the lamps aren't quite cutting it. Oh well. I do. Didn't go off. Maybe it ran out of power. Um, so yeah, anyway, I was getting the computer things. Let's just uh, light up this place, it's a bit dark. Extra lights. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, now I think I've got everything. So, what can we see from here? Right, it's a bit, you can't really see. You need to get rid of this, this, um... This bit here, maybe put a ledge. Yeah, you can see from there, that's better. There we go. Let's put some wooden blocks outside. Maybe. Oh, shit. It's not gonna work, is it? Um, what if you break these? This might work. Just a viewing platform. There we go, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's put the computer on this kind of a uh, desky thing here. Wooden blocks there, and then this can come out there. This could work, this could work. And then that can go into the IOX here, or even there. We want to be able to see the IOX really. <laughs> okay, unless no, the back is for the. Uh... Nope, not there. The back's for the bundle, so we can't use that. I just gonna have to like that, isn't it? It's a bit of shit, but there we go. Cool. Now we'll get the bundle at the back, and then down here, like that. Oh dear. It's kind of using that. Can I fill that in and still run the wire down? Let's find out. Is that even going to look good? Yeah, that should be right, shouldn't it? I don't think I'll be able to. I can go this way. Oh, that's okay. Oh, good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now I'll need to light this room up. With some torches. And add a floor, of course. And this is where all the receivers are going to go. All the wireless transmitters and... Transmitters, rather, not the receivers, obviously. Because the receivers are on the cannon. Um, okay, there we go. Um... Break faster, thank you. Right, and we didn't bring the coloured cables with us, so let's go back and get them in a sec. But we're gonna need um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven wireless transmitters and seven different colours. I assume. How are we gonna set that up? <laughs> oh my god. Um, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Is that going to work? Get the screwdriver, put it there, turn you all round, and then the bundled cable would need to go around almost everywhere. 
So coming down here. Now will I be able to split off a coloured cable from that? Let's just go and get some coloured cables and we'll find out. Um, there's no way out. I'm trapped. Oh my god. Let me in. Let me in. Oh my god. Ugh. Thank you. Okay, so. So we need to say white is first. Ah, see, so that doesn't work. Okay, we need to do it like this then. White. How do I? Damn it. Just fill this window in. Oop. It's gone. <laughs> okay, white. And then we wanted orange next. And then magenta. And go around the corner. Come on, that corner. Let's just do all this first. Oops, of course not. Is that it? Yeah. Now we need magenta, uh, light blue. So you need to do it in order, otherwise you'll get confused, like very confused. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, it doesn't need to go there. Um, if you saw my last computer video, you'll know why, and I'll show you again in a minute. Um, yellow's next. Yeah. And then lime. And finally, pink. Good. It's because what the computer uses the order of the colours to work out which one to send it to. So this looks pretty good. Damn cool, isn't it? This setup. Wow. Ah. <laughs> now, okay, we've got the computer set up here. We've got the iWorks expander. Um, you need a disk. We need a boot disk. Let's just take this boot disk out. Um, isn't there a blank disk we can make? Blank. Yeah, how do you make that? That's uh, wood and a bit of metal. That's easy enough. Oh. How is that noise? Oh, it's raining. Turn off Matt Moss. <laughs> uh, right, yeah. So we need to go up to the storage room. Storage. Grab a piece of a uh, seam iron, just one. Okay, so yeah, I've got enough wood. Good. Blank disc. We've got our our door control disc and our blank disc. Now the door control disc has stuff already on it, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. Um, but it's also got the operating system on, which is what we need. So we'll load up this. Do I have a disk drive? Oh god. <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> that's one thing I forgot. Oh my god, that's dumb. Do I have one here? Uh, um, oh yeah. Cool. Right, so that was here. Yeah. You forgot to add that in. Oh god, how's it gonna fit in? It's gonna get wet. Now it needs to connect to the CPU, which is a bummer and a half, that is. Um, it's a bummer and a half, which means we'll have to move. Oh my god. Two can play a dead game. <laughs> yeah. Owned. Um, right, ribbon cable has to go a bit further now because that's where the CPU needs to go in the middle. Because it needs to connect to the disk drive and the monitor. So the monitor can go here, this drive can go here. Possibly. Is this gonna work? Let's test. Test, 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 test. Start. Mine OS. Version 1.1. There we go, it's working. Right. Good. 
take this disc out, put the new disc in, the blank floppy. Uh, God, what was the, is there words? Words, words, I can't remember, how to, I can't remember how to, what to do with this. Words, oh, there we go. So we've got all these things that we can do. Um, Christ, how do I do this again? Save, save, uh, and then we want to call it um, Canon. Oops. Canon Control. Oh, save Canon. Oops. Oh, God damn it. Canon Control. And then these? This? Is that going to work? Is it saved? Did it work? Yes! Good. Good. We've got the disc. Now we can put this one back in our uh, door control computer. Safe and sound. Hey! Aha! Tesla coil. Oh, there's a bone on it, so it's... That's annoying. <laughs> there we go. Cool. So now what we need to do is make the program which controls the cannon. But we will be doing that next time because we run out of time. But basically, yeah, we're nearly ready. We're nearly up and running. Last phase and we are done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.